But we got whoop, whoop. Christmas. So on our Instagram, we've talked about how there's a few things around the bus that we want to change. And the first thing that we had to tackle was our electrical system. And that's where Dakota Lithium came in. So the thing with our electrical system is we have five AGM gel batteries and they're terrible. I mean, they're okay. They last us for like a year, but you can never go below 50% capacity. And we've done that multiple times. So now they're just shot. So the people over at Dakota Lithium sent us these four 100 amp hour lithium batteries and this is gonna be a game changer. So first things first, they only come 10% charged, but they send every single battery with a battery charger. So before I can do anything, I gotta go and put all four of these batteries on charge. And luckily, we're at Kelsey's cousin's house. So I'm gonna go inside and steal her electricity. Thanks, Olivia. charge let's go have a look at our current setup well first I need to move all of this stuff so we can get to all the batteries all right so the current setup is all tucked away back here so we've got our inverter, and then all of our batteries are in here. And we are starting to destroy our bus. It has to look worse before it looks better, right? Yep. this off so now I'm gonna take the batteries out hopefully it's just an easy pull out put the new ones back in but we'll see just to put this in perspective for you guys these batteries really suck I mean I can't oh. even like pick this up Neither can I. Jesus Christ oh so heavy whereas these ones don't mind our mess right now but like it's just so much better, so much easier, higher quality, better everything. Woo! Gotta start hitting the gym, baby. You're telling me. I just know what to grab. Come on. Let me take up. Yes. Save so much weight. I know. It's crazy. Like, that's probably why it's so like one-sided. Those are so heavy.
time to install these babies. Alright, they fit in snug. Obviously because we got rid of one battery, because with four of these, it's 80% more efficient than what we had with five of the AGM gel batteries. So I have to get some block in to stop this one from shaking around. But that's them in. So now I just gotta run around and connect them all back together. Like having deja vu, aren't you? Yeah. What? All right, let's see I've if it works. I've done this once before. <laughs> all right, so it's done. I've connected a fin up. I've changed all the charging profiles on our inverter, our charge controller, our DC to DC charger. So now the whole system should be should be configured and ready to go. So I'm going to turn it on, and we'll see what happens. This is the baby right here. Turns everything on. Ooh, you hear that? That is the sound of the power. So the inverter's clicked on. That's good. The fridge is on. The fridge I've got is the on. Power. Then we'll look in here. So charge, does it not matter charge controller that we have good. a Renogy charge controller and no. so you can cross brand? Yeah. So I'll put it on the app and then see what the app says. So I think I need to go into settings and read the batteries. Read successful. Yeah, so it's registered that I've got lithium ion batteries. Wow. All the parameters are set. And then 100% so far. So yeah. This is amazing. We've upgraded. Huge thanks again to Dakota Lithium. You've been a lifesaver. You guys don't even understand like how big of a deal this is. There's been so many times we have to turn the fridge off, everything goes bad, we have to save power one way or another, turn the Wi-Fi off, and then be on data, and it's just been a whole, whole scandal and problem that we've had. So this is going to be a huge help and just make bus life that much better. Happy faces. Happy, happy. So now the battery changeover upgrade is complete, we're left with these five old batteries. We were thinking about selling them, but instead we just decided to put something up on our Instagram to see if anyone wanted them, and a lovely couple who are actually currently converting their school bus reached out to us and they're in the area, so they're on their way to come pick them up. They're gonna go to a new home. Morgan and Shay plan on being stationary and plugged in for the next few months, so the gel batteries will do just fine for them. All in all, our gel batteries did the job when we were plugged in, but living the lifestyle we've been living, we don't find ourselves plugged in in many places. With our new Dakota lithium batteries and 80% more power than we had before, we can have the confidence to take our bus anywhere without worrying about losing power or having to sacrifice food for power. And that's a great feeling.